Hello again, this is the Watering Man. This is going to be a spiritual toolbox short. It's um, talking about one can't skip any steps in God's relationship building process. Okay, come back into the right mindedness of God. He's working where? Internal, not just this outward crap. Outward external rights. Huh? Because, you know, the kingdom of God doesn't come with outward observation. <laughs> huh? Behold, the kingdom of God is where? Within you. All right. Now, it's Luke 17, 20, 21. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, let's see here. Now, you can't skip any steps. In God's relationship builder building process, process, okay. If you were allowed to skip steps, so you're in this pressures of a storm. Hmm? So God, can I just be right once, or can I just not get in this thing? Won't you just let up on me? Huh? Can I just skip this one? And go ahead and get my increase and go to the next one. Hmm. Now, if you did that, remember, it's going like you got to germinate that seed. And then when you green light, you're going one, one to two to four to eight. It's doubling every time. Uh, the density of God's character is growing. That gospel, the good news of God, is growing in your mind. You're resting and relying on God. Your gratitude and your love is increasing. So it's like strengthening your bridge to carry a heavier, heavier load easier. Being able to carry it at all. Because you're just like at that, like a bridge. You're like a, a feather across there at the beginning. <laughs> Anything go through that thing. So it's even worse than like a wood, hay, and stubble. All right, you can't take nothing. All right, now, <clears throat> let's see, I got some notes here. I'm going to try to follow them, okay? This would be like telling God if you was wanting to skip it in the storms of your life, can't I just skip your way this time and do it my way? Can't my right mindedness of good and evil just be right once? No. Your red way is never right. It's absolutely denied. It will never, that you and me may qualify negation, it'll never qualify with God. He's faithful. It ain't. That tree of knowledge of good and evil, that Jacob's well water, won't qualify as the tree, the fruit from the tree of knowledge, or fr the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, or Jacob's well water, will never uh, qualify with God as the fruit from the tree of life or the living water of God, the thought processes of God. Huh? Saying this old love over here, this red way love, is the same thing as God's love. No, it's not. It will never qualify with God. If I do it my way, Cause I'm gonna march on it and all this stuff. Preach and teach. No. It doesn't qualify. It's absolute denial. Right? That ooh yuck. Oh you. Huh? Absolute negation. Huh? And it will never M A or M E Y. M M E. <laughs> it's pronounced May. It will never qualify. It's God. God's faithful. You're not going to change God's mind. God's love is a love beyond the mere description of words, and that's what he's bringing your mind, your thinking processes into. Back in there, resting and relying on that. Not in this old, taking you out, saving you, delivering you from this old good, bad, evil stuff, double-minded stuff of yours, of mine, of our own carnal, Adamic nature. Ooh, yuck. Right? It's absolutely denied. You don't never qualify with God, right? Now, 
And you think, can I just skip this one? Huh? It would be like, okay, we know it like it's in a binary. Two to zero power, two to the first, two to the second, two to the third. That's just saying, start out two to zero is one, then two, then four, huh? then eight, then 16, then 32. It doubles every time. Now, you go in this stormy light pressures and stuff, and you germinate the seed. It goes to a one. Go do it again, another time, maybe a little different thing, but it's, it's still in the same spots in one thought process or a group, wherever God's wanting to work in your mind. In this deep, big ball of thinking, down to the thought process, deeper, down all the way down to a spot, deepest. God's dealing with that. So working on this relationship builder, God's faithful to do it his right way. Bringing you in, he's correcting your mind. Hmm? This correction of one's mind into God's righteousness. God's faithful to do that. How how faithful are you to agree with God? Be reasonable, sit my way, my child. Huh? The more you can green light God, the more increase. Like into those pearls of great price, those thought processes that are purified to get higher and higher and higher levels in Christ, resting and relying in God's love, not your own love that's really stinking thinking. The heart of man, the thought processes of mankind, is desperately wicked and evil above all things. Let's go read that. Jeremiah 17.9 Okay, it's just, I'm not going to read a whole lot there, just right here. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? That's King James Version. Let's read the New King James just real quick, okay? The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Hmm? Don't trust that thing. Let God be true. And all the humanistic thinking is a liar. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely denied by God for you, for your protection. This thing where it says, man, I love you, it's intoxicated with your own, me, myself, and I thinking. That old ego of the carnal mind. Not God's edging out that false king. It is the false king. Hmm? Huh? That's not going to qualify as God's love. No way, no shape. It's not going to slip on by him. Try to manipulate him. Hmm? Politician, well, I kissed your baby. I kissed your butt. I did it your way. I gave you that job a dog. Because I was your, your friend, your buddy. Say, Thomas, an imposter of light. Hmm. It wasn't your light, it wasn't God's love, it wasn't his enlightenment. And it was his fault, or I've tried to condemn you to hell for your good. That's wrong. Mm, yuck. Don't trust that thing in here. It's, oh my goodness, it's nasty. Come to God. See, the word of God sharpening into two edged sword is dividing the sun of that spirit and the soul. That soul stuff and the spirit the seeds is revealing it to you. So that God can do it, but he's performing this relationship builder. He's correcting your mind. It takes pressures, just like in John 16, right? All right, now, <coughs> <coughs> you're asking, if it, it'd be like you're asking, can I just skip and get a pass this one time, a bye week, like they got in football, a bye week? <laughs> Can I just get by this time and go ahead and get my increase and just so I can continue? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty faithful, but man, can I just skip it just this time? That would be like, now, if we say we went through one thought process, one in this correction, we germinated it, we went to one. Then the second time, we did that one, good, we green-lighted God again. We went to two, green-lighted again, four, huh? Then green light, 8. Green light, 16. 
And then the owl said, man, I've done it five times here. Huh. Can't I just skip the, get a bye week this time and go from 16 to 32 without doing anything? I mean, I don't want to take out the garbage or nothing. I just want to take it easy. I'd be like that, you know. <laughs> Look, you, you know, let's just say I did and I didn't really do it, but I got to rest. Got to give you an Elam, like an oasis in the desert, but you don't get a bye week. No skipping, no stuff. God's faithful. You gotta qualify in His correction processes, His ways. His will be done, not your will be done. He's not gonna put more in you than you can handle. But if you're following your own redemic ways, your old carnal mind ways, it's one to trip you up. Here's one example of a trip up. You've been through. 1, 2 to 4 to 6 to 8, and 1, 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. Now you want to skip this, 16 to 32. Okay? You said I did it anyways. Then all of a sudden, when the 16 to uh, 32 to 64 hits, you can't do that. Right? It's giving me a, a, on the contrary way, uh, I, but the word that Allah. On the contrary, contrary, here's another way of doing it, Father. Just let me pie past this one. Get a bye week. Or a bye time, uh, this one right here from 16 to 32, and then I'll do 32 to 64. I promise. Well, you know, from going from 16 to 32, it takes the 8 plus the, um, <clears throat> four plus the two plus the one and then relying on that seed all of that huh see eight plus four is twelve plus four two is fourteen plus one is fifteen now you got this gap builder that little spark plug give you that other one turn to the seed of christ gives you sixteen then you had sixteen gospel the good news you huh then all of a sudden that 16 plus 16 gets you to the 32, but it takes every bit of that gospel good news that you have in you, that you possess in your mind, that God has given you. Not the good news from that old carnal mind. That carnal mind's wanting to stick its own two cents in there. Let's skip this one. Let's do another way. And then they'll pick it up when they're 32 to 64. Now, all of a sudden, you got this trying to get from 32 to 64 if you're allowed to skip. God's faithful. He's not going to put more on you than you can handle. This would be too much for you. Hmm? So, we'll only skip one time. Yeah, but let's look at this. Go from 16 to 32. You can do that. With everything you got, drop it like a bad habit and become a widow to that old way of thinking and trust in this 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. Plus the seed of Christ. Boom, up to one. And another 16 plus 16 equals 32. Now, let's say you didn't do that. Now you're trying to go 16 or 32 to uh, 64. But you don't. You missed one. So you're actually trying to go 16 to 64. Now you do this. All you got the good news of eight. Because if you try to put in the good news that corner mine going from Six, uh, the the 16, you don't have that. It's absolutely denied by God. It doesn't qualify. You'll me may. It doesn't qualify with God. It's not the right kind of love. It's not the right righteousness. It's your own righteousness. So you don't have that 16. Oh, you still only got the 8 plus the 4 plus the 2 plus the 1. And then the gap filler. That equals 16. And to get from 32 to 64, uh oh, you're missing the 16. Or you're missing, you're missing one. Right? Uh oh. So you're trying to jump from 16, plumb up to 34. You're trying to, instead of just double, which is, is all you can do. In Christ, and it has to be in God. You're grabbing on. You're saying, no, I want to grab on with some of my crap thinking. 
my own righteousness, plus all this righteousness you got, this good news, and I'm going to put my good news from the Satanists. My imposter light, it's light too, you know, God. Just put it with your other stuff. So now let's go 16, but it's a false one. So it's not good, it's not qualifying. <coughs> Spick it out. If it was true, 16 plus 8 is 24, plus 4 is 28, plus 2 is 30, plus 1, 31, plus the get fellow is another 32. 32 plus, and you're at 32, and 6, 4, it, it, it works. You increase. God gives the increase. But that 16 is from that wrong thinking. Your old carnal mind's thinking. Uh-oh, you're trying to say, oh, here, let's just stick this one in there, too. It's a good way. It's a good way, God. You're trying to convince God. Doesn't this one qualify? Because I agree with it totally. It tastes real good in my mouth. It's making you sicker than a dog down inside. God's faithful to get it out for you. For you. Huh? Again, for you, not to you. I'm not saying, well, I'm going to hold my breath. God wouldn't let me skip a day and then try to stick in my good works to make it work. That one don't qualify. This 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, that 16 that I gave you, plus, or that 15 plus the gap filler making another 16, that'll get you from 16 to 32, but not 16 all the way up to 64. See what I'm saying? You can't substitute you in your own righteousness because I skipped that day and uh, I skipped that time in that olam, that heating up, or that night time, that darkness, time of ignorance of God. I try to put in my light. You know, I couldn't see where the shoot. It was all dim and it didn't work at all. It's blacker than these speeds. Don't matter if you're calling it a good thing or a bad thing. I can do myself to hell for that. It don't matter. It's all. You yuck. It don't qualify with God. Huh? So that's the vomit it out of your mouth. All of this stuff God's giving you, that good news, the gospel of God. Huh? And in this case, I'm using this case in this one correction to this one ball. Hmm. He did the 16, or the, the 8, 4, 2, 1, and then the gap filler. That's 15, plus the 1, that's the gap filler, the seed of Christ, is filling up. So that's 16, plus the 16 that you got, gets you from 16 to 32. The increase that God gives you. It's got to be in Christ, resting and relying in God. And in union with God, your focus is right. This other stuff is getting you all focused. It's got this dark ball, I think. And we'll put it out, call it a dark ball. Because, oh, you just let me skip, didn't you, God? <laughs> Carnal Mind's trying to trip you up. This sucker right here is tripping that up in them games. Because all of a sudden, that dark thing, there's a better way. You know, you could get from that 16 to that 64. Doing it my way. It's an imposter of light. That say Thomas. But your adversary. Man, this stuff is tripping me up. It's that Jacob nature. That trip, trickster. Heel grabber. Trying to grab your heel and trip you. And your lifestyle, your walk, your, the way you live exists in here. You can't live. You can't increase yourself with your own dark thinking. In other words, your own ignorance, your dark Adamic way of thinking. It's a trickster. See, it's like tripping you. You go through and get this one, two, four, eight, huh? Plus the gap filler each time. You're green lighting God. Then this 16, he lets you skip a day. God won't let you skip a day. Huh? He requires that it comes, the light comes from him. God is light. God is love. To increase in God's love and to increase in God's enlightenment, 
is gratitude. Oh my goodness, the understanding of God. And you're seeing here, take that to spell with Christ in control. Not let that little dark thing stay in there. And call it good. Everybody else calls it good. Get on my house, all my cup makes me look good. God said, not to me. Yeah. I didn't tell you to do that stuff, right? Didn't we do all kinds of stuff in your name, Jesus? And, uh, huh? God says, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Yeah, I was a black ball. That's like the eight ball, old black ball right there. All right? He's taking out this little bit of spot. That's like down in there. He's got all these little pixels of light. One to two to four to eight. Huh? Four to eight. And then you got that gap filler. <laughs> Generating. Bringing it into existence. Pushing it on out there. And all of a sudden, it's like if it skips, that spark plug's not firing right. Then all of a sudden, there's a black ball there. God's faithful to spit that sucker out. You say, yeah, but God, no, that was a good thing. I did it in your name. I put out the words. And it wasn't his thought processes. It wasn't from the <laughs> spark plug of God, the seed of Christ, seed of faith that he gave to all a measure of his seed. But not all are, are capable of functioning in it at all. They can, they're not even determined in it, but there's a whole bunch in there. God works, puts you in the body where he sees fit. Hmm. God's ways are way above our ways, right? Hmm. What did it say there in this uh, Jeremiah 17, 9? The heart of man, the heart is desperately, well, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You're putting in this dark stuff. You sure don't know it. It don't qualify. It might qualify with you. You might believe it. But what you're doing is denying God. It says, let God be the truth. He's the light. And all this humanistic thinking is a liar. That dark thing there is a liar. You can't skip that. You can't skip one step in God's relationship builder. Back into the mind of God. Back from this lower Adamic, dark way of thinking. Ignorant of God's love. Coming up to God's higher, superior way of love. His righteousness. He can't have none of your righteousness. I must decrease. That ego must decrease and God must increase. God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. Woo! Right? Now, um, see, it's not no cataclysmic jump from, you got dark, and you go up to this, man, I did it from this one to two to four to eight. Now I'm just going to skip all the way out there to, I'm finished, and I'm ready to marry you, God. And you got all this darkness. The 16, all this, you know, 32, 64, all those are dark balls. They're like the, the eight ball. And it don't even have the, the little white spot in it with the eight. Mm-mm. You try to say, man, I'm eight. I'm a new beginning. Uh-uh. You're the old crap thinking. And God's going to show you. i got to heat that thing up to bring out that, like in that refiner's pot. i got to heat the circumstances up for you. So we can bring that one out and turn, exchange it. That dart ball of that 16 there is your good works or your bad works. Your good and evil stuff. Hmm? So it comes to the top of this refiner's pot. Or else I'm offering to just chop it out. Depending on how hard fallow down it is in your mind. God knows. Knows you better than you know yourself. He said, oh, it's not too hard, brother. Here, I'll just agree with you. You're not really agreeing. I said, nah. God's faithful. Here, let me heat it up. Oh, oh, you're doing it to me, Father God. No, no, no. 
He's not. He's doing it for you. Bring up his ways are easy. The only way to get there. This other way is bull crap, man. It's dumb. It's a heart of man. Oh, yuck. Who can do it? God knows it. Thank goodness. Hmm. All right. Oh, oh he'll get it out of there. Hmm. He put it, put that stuff in you so it boils it up to the top. Not to condemn you, but show you. See, I told you that thing was dark ball. Now look at it. It's just scum floating up there. And it's not to condemn you. Do you want me to skim that stuff out? Or if it's just wood, you want me to chop this wood and humanistic thinking out? Hmm. This little bit spot. Yes, sir. Father God, I see it now. Man, that was really rotten, stinking thinking I had in there. Oh, man, that was poop. That was the shit stinking. Seeing here, taste that swell with my own ego in it. I see it now. Yes, sir. Amen. I agree. So be it. I'll sign on that contract. Let's get it out of there. And you vomit it while God's doing it. You agree. Total emphatically hot pursuit. Ugh. Give up on that old crap thinking. Your own righteousness. It's not a bright, shining ball of light. Spot of light. It's dark thinking. Quit trying to put it in there. It's not, it's imposing as an imposter of light. It's like the satanic stuff. Come on, man. Don't get it out there like, man, Satan's out there somewhere. And it's a monster. Ain't in my mind. This is the brightness of God. It's a good thing. God said, no, it's not. Here, let me melt that stuff. Oh, oh why are you doing that to me? To me? God, or why is the devil doing that to me? It ain't. I'm melting this stuff off. Show you. I'm offering to chop it out. Be reasonable sit my way, my child. Stop that foolish nonsense stuff. Hmm? It's kind of like that llama out there in the yard cutting the grass and a little bit of rug rats over there. It's a monster out there. It's a big old monster. You better be very afraid. No, it's a tool. This thing when God's melting those dark balls. We'll call them dark balls. Yuck. Stinking thinking. That imposter's a liar. A condemnation and guilt. The Diabolos and the Satanists. That's in your mind. He's melting them out. Chop them out. Skip. Huh? Asking, you want me to chop this out? Or you want me to skim this stuff off for you? And at the same time, there's all this heat and stuff. Better do it right. Or you'll be like that rocket ship. It's going up. It's when a rocket's got a, it's burning that fuel, that rocket fuel in it, it's got to come down exactly right so that that action, that force pushing down pushes exactly up the other way. Because with every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? It's pushing straight down so it lifts it straight up. If it's off the mark, trying to be dark, good, or evil on its own, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Boom! Blows up. And you wreck. You wreck your mind. <laughs> you sow to the flesh, you reap this destruction, right? Huh? To be carnally minded, to be off the mark, huh? is death. Separation. Your rocket ship blows up. That blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, you dummy. You didn't agree with God. Huh? Right? And it's right in those storms. Not yesterday, today, right no, it's right now. Yahweh is salvation. Y H W H. Don't elongate it, don't delay it, don't put it out there, don't try to put dark stuff, wrong fuel in your rocket ship. It won't. It's not used. That fuel of your own carnal mind is not qualified. It's not the right fuel. It's absolutely denied by God. Hmm? And this 
God's relationship building process. You're a rocket ship. Hmm. Cause I'm a rocket man. Hmm. God's is perfectly, accurately, precisely, correctly on the mark. Get it right. Agree with God always. So that you can keep going green light. Not have no black balls in there that's messing you up. Tripping you up. Like that Jacob Snaker. Nature. The old carnal mind. Trickster. Hill grabber. Ooh, yep. Trying to sell you something. It's not. Try to sell you it and tell you it's a good thing. This is a ball of light just like God's. It's black. It's a stinking, tinking thing. Poisonous, stinking, mistress, berries. Oh, yuck. Right? God won't let that pass. He's faithful. Even if you're not, even if you don't see it, he'll bring up the, his argument, his case, and the intensity. Because it won't pass God's inspection. Hmm. Huh? Whether it passes your inspection or not, because you might be mistaken. God, but God's not. Thank you, Father. Have a great day. I love you. Um, this has been Spiritual uh, Toolbox, The Waterman. Bye-bye.